Uh, okay, so uh, emo radiographism, emotional intelligence, and clinical practice. Uh, our main objective here was to study the capability of radiographers to perceive patients' expectations, emotions, and uh, fear, and uh, what they know about the exam, and how the communication takes place between patient and uh, radiographer. So to assess this, we adapted and translated to Portuguese uh, an already instrument by Vega Branco, uh, and we applied it to 130 radiographers. Uh, this questionnaire had both demographic sessions and uh, a series of correlational uh, questions about uh, what they perceive between radiographers and uh, the patient. Uh, we have five groups of emotional intelligence characterization that evaluate autoconscience, auto emotion management, automotivation, empathy, and groups relationship management. <clears throat> so we had 130 radiographers, 86 females and 53 males, between 24 and 60 years. Uh, regarding ac academic level, uh, the majority of them are, have a graduated degree. Uh, uh, in Portugal, we, have the, the, we do not have the, the bachelor degree. It's equivalent to the graduated in the UK, for example. Then you have the master's degree. The, the academic is a little bit different. Regarding professional experience, most of them are between 5 and 10 years of experience, so fairly young. 20% below five years of experience, and a considerable amount, uh, 16 and above years of, of, of experience. We performed um, the internal consistency of the questionnaire to see if it really was measuring what it was supposed to measure. We had a very good value. Uh, parameters has empathy, conscience, emotion, uh, we had uh, a scale. We then used mean standard deviations uh, for the values and we calculated, and then we, saw, we made some correlational uh, tests. Radiographer's emotional intelligence capabilities, as shown in figure three, I will show you after, allow us to observe the average values obtained in the five subscales which I mentioned earlier. Uh, the average value was 4.06 in a global emotional intelligence, which is fairly, fairly good. But uh, we also have to take into account some, some other factors because uh, the amount of time we spend with the patients, it's different from other professions. So this questionnaire was adapted and we have to take that into account, of course. But the overall results, radiographers present good emotional intelligence during their professional activity However, it can improve by promoting teamwork with more experienced radiographers and multidisciplinary sessions. Uh, we also had a, a previous study that uh, was perceived the patient's point of view. Uh, in general, they all gave radiographers a, a very good amount of, um, of understanding and explaining the exam, communicating in a language that they, that they understand, especially older patients that sometimes underwent CT or MRI, didn't know what to expect or were afraid. Or were afraid. So th I think this is important to, um, to increase patient cooperation in, in some exams. Uh, thank you very much. <clears throat>